great pleasure to talk to you about this film. Obviously, everyone of all ages is going to be excited about this. So is that what prompted and infused the passion for the project from the beginning? The, the passion for me came from the fact that I am a huge fan of Angry Birds and all of the games. So I'm, I'm almost an addict, but I play the games all the time. And the chance to be a part of this movie and bring this world to life and take these characters to the next level of reality has been just such an exciting opportunity. Uh, you explained yesterday at the press conference how there's been a morphing of the characters for the screen, like here they're having arms for the first time, etc. Yes. How challenging was it to get out a little bit of you know, the first drawings of the video games to put it to life? Well, the characters have such great iconic qualities and, and such too. clear personalities and abilities. And our character designer, Francesca Natali, has done such a fantastic, I, I'm just looking at these characters and I yeah. see their personalities coming through. They make me happy. And the level of detail that we have, the feathers, did you see the feathers yeah. in, in Red's hand? It's just, it's amazing to see how, how great it looks. You've got an exceptional voice cast. So uh, was everybody excited? Is it the kind of film where people wanted to be part of it? You didn't even need to pitch it to them. We, we were very lucky. I, I did need to pitch it to them, but it was, it was so exciting to, to have this group come together to be a part of this movie. I think this is the funniest cast I've ever seen in a movie. And I'm biased, but I think that they're terrific. And Jason Sudeikis, Josh Gad, Danny McBride, Peter Dinklage, Bill mm. Hader, Maya Rudolph, Kate McKinnon, Keegan-Michael Key, I could go on and on and on. They are some of the funniest improvisational sure. comedians working today, and they're able to go into a recording booth and give you such a feeling of spontaneity and such naturalistic yeah. qualities in their performances. Yeah. So it's, it's incredible. It's a different dimension when you have actors who know their comedy when you're trying to build a script like that because it becomes very spontaneous, doesn't it? It does. Well, an actor in a recording booth is stripped of everything mm. they have, all of the tools in their bag of tricks. They no longer have their physicality. They can no longer use facial expressions. All they have is their voice. And so to be able to do that, to be able to perform in such a limited environment, is a talent that I think a lot of people don't, don't realize you need. Uh, is the challenge in this one to know what audience you're catering for? Because obviously very young children will love it, younger adults will love it. So who do you do it for? We are doing it for everyone in the audience. And when we've been screening the footage these last couple days and watching people laugh and respond to the scenes, it has been fantastic. And I get to sit on the stage, so I'm looking right at the people, looking at the movie, and I'm seeing adults who are laughing so hard, they're spilling coffee and they're, they're crying. And so it's, it's so exciting to see that adults love this as much as kids.